¿Qué tal amigos de Passion Films? Pues estamos aquí en, en una entrevista muy especial y creo que una de las más grandes que hemos hecho eh, con Vince Papale y que en su momento fue inspiración incluso para hacer una película, la película de Invencible. Mr. Vince, thanks for this interview. Oh, it's great to be here. First, before I, even go, before I get started, I want to thank Carlos Rosado and his father and all the sponsors and all the volunteers for making this happen and for all the beautiful people in Mexico City for making me feel so welcome and feel real special. This is, a, this is an honor. Thank you. Right. Gracias. You're welcome and you're an inspiring man for many people. In the U.S. you were an inspiring people and for all the world through the movie you were an inspiring people. What's your feeling about this? Um, American football has been part of your life for... Uh, so many years, uh, it motivates uh, the a director to, to, to make a movie on that. How's your feeling about that? Mm. Uh, how come that uh, you became an inspiration and how do you feel about that? Well, uh, first of all, uh, football in, in the United States is a culture. You know, we grow up with that, as is soccer in Mexico. And it's so nice and wonderful and cool to see the transition now to the love of American football here in Mexico, and especially Mexico City. Uh, to be chosen to have a movie made about me, that is just one of the most exciting things you could ever imagine, and especially a movie done by Disney. Uh, and, and I'm sort of like a Disney character now. And, and, and I'm so honored. And, 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 I, and what, what I think makes the, the, the movie really special is that everybody can feel a part of it because I think everybody's been told that, you know, they had a dream, but they couldn't do it because they had something that they didn't have right about them. And, and the movie shows that you can do it. And I think that's the reason it inspires people is it gives them hope. And that's what I try to do. Yeah, because here in Mexico, maybe as you feel it, American football has been a part of the life of the people that practice that, no? It gives you values, values, it gives you many ways to, confront the, the life that is hard uh, and American football is a way to inspire you as a person to, to go through the life, right? What's uh, this feeling, uh, what's the feeling of you about this, about uh, having this sport as a part of your life as a, and as a, an example to, to, to live your life? Uh, you know what, I think it's important to have any sport as part of your life and it's really rewarding to see American football now being a part of a lot of people's lives down here in Mexico, Mexico City, especially the young boys and, and the men and women. And, and my, my advice to them is to just to go out right now and have fun and, and to try to play safe. And my advice to the coaches is to teach and to coach safety and, and, and to make sure that these kids are protected because football is a violent game, it's a violent sport, but it teaches a lot of things and it teaches you how to overcome adversity Um, you know, being part of a team, it's, it's all about cooperation and having one goal and 11 people coming together to make that one goal happen or one dream. So my advice to anybody, go out, have fun, enjoy it. Maybe you'll wind up in the NFL, who knows, yeah. but just enjoy it for all it's worth. Yeah, that's a dream for many Mexicans yeah. to, to go to the NFL, no? Uh, in, in, this, in this way, you were talking about the... Uh, how it was uh, difficult for you to play American football because it's a very violent sport. But uh, you were a tiny for that sport, man. You were not that tall for that sport, but you made a big trajectory there. So anything is possible, no? Right. No matter your physics, no matter anything, your mind is the, the, the one that, right. that means, right? You're right, you're absolutely right. Um, I was told I couldn't do it uh, because I didn't play college football. I was told I didn't do it because I was 30 years old. I was told I couldn't do it because I, uh, it's never been done before. Um, I, back then, I wasn't all that too small. I was six, I was six feet two inches tall, weighed about 200 pounds, and it was a very, very fast, and, and loved to hit people. And uh, my advice, though, is to just uh, go out and uh, give it your best shot. But if you're going to do it, like you said, you got to work hard, and, and an opportunity is there for everybody, and everybody has the potential within them, but if you're not willing to work hard and pay the price, it's not going to happen. That dream will never come true. Yeah, and you can learn how to face the life, no? That sometimes it's sure. not as you want. 
Well, that's what I think is the beauty of being on a team, you know, because when you're on a team, you experience success, you experience failure, you understand how to get through adversity, and it teaches you things that you learn at a younger age, and it teaches you life lessons that you carry on for the rest of your life. And with me, when I made the team at 30, I still feel, and I'm in my 60s now, I feel that I can do anything because if I could do what I did back then, I can do anything now. Right, and that's the inspiration we have from that movie and knowing your life, no? So thanks to Carlos Rosado for bringing you to the expo. Thanks you to come here. And maybe many people uh, would uh, take a picture with you. But mostly, you will have a conference tomorrow about your life, about the way you were su successful in American football. What are we going to, to learn in this conference, and why to come to that? Well, I'm going to learn, they're going to learn uh, that dreams really do come true, and all you have to do is look at me, and I'm going to be there with my teammate from the Philadelphia Eagles, Dennis Franks, number 53, and he'll tell the same story. And I'll tell a little bit about about my life and some of the things I had to overcome when I was younger. But it's more about, okay, here we are now. What are you going to do about it? How are you going to change your life for the better? Because everybody can get just a little bit better. I don't care how great you are. There's something there that's even better that you can do and how you're going to do it. And that's what my message is going to be tomorrow. Thanks for uh, transmitting that to all the people. And thanks for uh, sharing your experience with the people here in Mexico. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias.